Hey friend, my name's Wendy if you're new around here, and I'm excited today to share with you what I've learned about the Anna Griffin Impress machine. So I got the Anna Griffin die cutting, Empress die cutting machine in January. I think I ordered it in December. And I wanted to use it for a few months before I did a review on it because I want to be really honest and I want to tell you what I've learned and what I like and don't like and all of that because it is an expensive investment and I just want to make sure that I'm sharing as much info as I have about it. So we are going to kind of go over today the things I love about it and the things that I'm not super crazy about. Honestly, there's only like one thing. <laughs> but we're gonna get into that. So just so you know, I have no affiliation with Anna Griffin whatsoever. I'm not getting paid to do this video. I don't make a single cent if you order an Anna Griffin machine. And we'll talk about options for getting one and how to get one in the least expensive way as we go through this video. But I'm gonna show you a few features on the machine and talk to you about the pros and cons so that you have a really good base to make your decision on. I know this um, machine, a lot of people have been using this machine for years, but it's growing in popularity. And I know there's a lot of people asking the question, is it worth it? Should I get it? So I'm hoping this video will answer those questions for you. So one of my very favorite things about the Anna Griffin Empress is the magnetic plate. So there's this magnetic mat. It's the B there. So there's a B they, they label just like any other company. They label their plates. So this magnetic mat you can cut into. Technically, if you look at the instructions, you're not supposed to cut into it, but everybody does and it works great. I think it even says in somewhere online that you can do it either way. I've been using this now for four months. As you can see, there's no warping and I want to show you the precision this cuts with. This is the first machine I've ever used that cuts detail dies this precisely. Usually there's pieces or parts that are stuck or I have to go around and, you know, really poke things out, but not this machine. This machine cuts, whatever the pressure is in this machine works perfect. And then there's that magnetic mat I'm showing off to you. I love this thing. It comes with the machine. It's part of part of the whole package. And it you can see it's not warped. It's not I'm very impressed with how well the plates hold up. Okay, so I just want to reiterate this magnet and how amazing <laughs> it is. Um, look at this. So this is one of my favorite things that I can do with this is I can just throw different pieces of cardstock on this magnet and put my dies right on it. And then the other thing I want to show you, look at that, and they just stay, you guys. Anyway, the other thing I want to show you is look how you can run this through sideways. So you don't have to run it through uh, vertically. You can run it through horizontally, which I think is really cool. Um, it's just a little bit shorter trip through the machine. Now, out of absolute habit, I run it through vertically. And I have found that with intricate dies, um, sometimes running it through horizontally doesn't heed the best results. So just, you know, there's that, but look at that perfectly cut. Everything sticks. You don't lose your dies as often because they stick to that mat. And I just, I don't know. I just can't say enough good things about how all this works together. And seriously, after four months of use, you can see that this mat is still in pretty darn good shape. Like I don't feel like I need to replace it right now. And the clear plates are perfect. They have zero cuts in them, nothing. So I just think in the long run, this machine, you can find this machine for different price points. Oh, I want to show you partial die cutting. So you can do that with this machine. And the way I found best to work is to put the end through that's kind of off the edge first and then hit your run button and it goes right through sticks everything in place, no problem. And check it out, I got a perfect partial die cut. Price point on this machine is around 200 bucks and I you can get it on Amazon, HSN, lots of different places. So just check out for the best, check things out for the best option and price point. 
I am interrupting this video to sponsor this video. Yes, I'm sponsoring myself in a video. <laughs> I have a really fun mini die cutting class available right now for purchase. If you use the code earlybird5, I'm extending the early bird special, you'll get $5 off this class. This class includes four die cutting techniques, seven videos with more samples than videos, and it is so much fun. And this is just a little sneak peek preview of one of the videos. So I teach in this class how to do partial die cutting and even we're using a halo light and how to use that. There are also special coupon codes from Pear Blossom Press and Pajama Crafter Stamps. When you purchase this class, you get to use those discount codes to get a discount on your lights for projects like this. And you also have access forever and ever. So if this is something you'd like, we'd love for you to join us. There's a link below the video for 14 bucks. Thanks so much. Okay, let's talk about the two downsides. One is 3D embossing. Um, I have figured out a way to kind of 3D emboss, which is to use the little rubber mat and the A plate. This rubber mat comes with the Anna Griffin Impress, and I have a 3D plate here from all to new, and I'm just going to throw a piece of cardstock on in there, throw this plate, well it's not a plate, it's a mat or rubber mat, I guess, <laughs> on top, and I'm just going to hit run and run this through. It... I can tell that the machine is a little tight doing this, so it does make me a little nervous to even do this. So I, I'm only doing it for the video to show you, but you can see the impression is not that great. It's decent, it worked, but it's not fantastic. So for me, I'm just gonna stick with my other machines for now for my 3D embossing folders until I see if there's maybe a solution or um, maybe something gets released for this that would work better. The other downside is it does not use the same size um, plates that other companies use. So while other companies have interchangeable plate sizes, this one does not. So that's just the two things I have found that bother me. But other than that, I absolutely love this machine and I would highly recommend it to anyone. If you want to see any of the other videos from me, you can click here and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.